In this video we're going to cover uploading product images from FM eCommerce link to WooCommerce. So uh, I've got a product over here that I've just created called uh, Running Shoes and I've uh, just pushed it up to WooCommerce. So if we go and have a look at uh, WooCommerce admin, uh, we can see here's the Running Shoes and you can see um, every new product that gets created um, by default gets this placeholder image. So when we, um, if I've updated the product from WooCommerce, which I just did, uh, you'll see you get this uh, placeholder image. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is uh, delete that and let's go and add an image. Now WooCommerce lets you add images in two ways. You can um, enter a URL to an image that's hosted somewhere else on the internet and WooCommerce will uh, download that and ingest it into WooCommerce or if it's an image that's already been uploaded to WooCommerce you can just um, enter its um, ID number and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So let's uh, look at some examples of each of those methods. So I'm going to um, go and grab a uh, URL uh, to an image that's on uh, one of my websites. We'll just get that out of the way there. And I'm going to um, paste that in there. Okay, I'm going to I'll put that at uh, position zero. And now I'll just hit push to WooCommerce. And that takes a bit longer because it's got to uh, give WooCommerce time to download that image and that obviously depends on uh, the size of that image and the speed of its download and uh, it's been uh, uploaded successfully so if I were to uh, go into that image sorry that product in WooCommerce uh, I should now see that particular image uh, and there it is there and if I click the little view button that gives me a, a preview of that as well now if I've up just uploaded so I've still got the URL to the image of my website if I just hit um, update product from WooCommerce, it's going to um, delete everything and refresh it. And now I'm going to get the um, correct uh, version of that URL from my particular website. And it now comes back with the uh, the WooCommerce ID, the 3278. So I can add additional images uh, just by entering the uh, URLs to each image just to get them into WooCommerce initially. Now, if you've got a product that's already in WooCommerce, so um, if I just open up the, um, the media library. I'll just do that in a new tab. Uh, this brings up all the images that you've already uploaded to WooCommerce. So let me just pick this green t-shirt for argument's sake. Uh, what we need to do is get its ID. Now if you click into the URL you'll see its little item number. It's normally that sort of four digit number typically that uh, WordPress generates for the post uh, ID. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to add a new image. Uh, paste in the ID into that field and I'll make that position number one and uh, that should be enough just to push that to uh, WooCommerce. I'll hit push to WooCommerce and it should be quicker this time because I don't have to download anything. Now if I go back to my product and uh, just uh, refresh that. Uh, now you can see it's got the, uh, the two products. So that's how you can keep adding images uh, from FileMaker and have them end up in uh, WooCommerce and you can use the position column to change the order in which they appear. Um, if you were to uh, delete these, let me just delete both these records. And uh, actually, let me just, sorry, quickly, I'll just update that from WooCommerce again. Uh, if you wanted to see what those, if you wanted to store those images in FileMaker as well, we do have the option to uh, download the product images and they'll just quickly download those images from um, WooCommerce into FileMaker so you've got like an offline view of those as well. Now I'm just going to um, delete those again. Just lost my mouse for a second. Click back and delete that. <clears throat> now if we upload this to uh, WooCommerce that should wipe out the uh, images altogether. So, you can uh, clear out uh, images just by uh, deleting them from FileMaker then uh, re-upload into WooCommerce. If I refresh that in uh, WooCommerce again, we can see uh, I no longer have any of those product images. So you can delete one or all, it's up to you. Uh, but that's how you go about uploading um, one or more product images from uh, FileMaker to WooCommerce. Uh, this works the same for variations, I should mention as well. Um, except that you're limited to one image for a, a variation and um, the URL and ID fields are found over here. So that's how it works. Thanks for watching.